In this session, I'm going to show you how to add boundaries to your mind map. Now, you might want to use a boundary to basically cordon off information and make it clear that it belongs together and make it clear that it doesn't belong elsewhere. That may sound a little bit convoluted, but let me show you. So if we open up Monday here, you'll see there's information associated with Monday. So we might have some tasks in here. In order to make sure they don't get muddled up with Tuesday, I mean, they're quite clear here because they're different color, but just to make doubly sure, we click on Monday. So you'll see it's highlighted there. We come up here to this dashed box, and if I click on that, it'll create a little boundary around Monday. So just this nice box around the whole thing to make it clear that that is a separate thing. Equally, if I do that on Tuesday, so I've highlighted Tuesday by clicking on it, and then I click this button up here, the same thing happens. Now you'll notice that as I minimize this, the boundary shrinks with it. So you can see there is still a box around Monday and a box around Tuesday, and as I open it up, the boundary will shift accordingly, so it adapts to how much information you have on display. So just a very quick and simple way of distinguishing and uh, making it clear where information belongs and when information is grouped together to ensure that it's not muddled with anything else. So just clicking on this little button up here to add a boundary. If you want to get rid of your boundary, click on the topic where you have a boundary. So here we have one on Monday. So I click on that and I simply press this button again and you'll see the boundary disappears. So very simple, adding and removing boundaries, just a click of a button that's added one and the same takes it away.